announced to the world of sports, Algeria's Imani Khalif was disqualified hours before her gold medal bout at the Women's World Championships in New Delhi after she failed to meet the eligibility criteria. The International Boxing Association, of course, said this on Sunday. The 23-year-old was scheduled to meet Yang Liu in the 66-kilogram division final, but Thailand's Yang Yem uh, Suwa Nafeng, who lost to Khalif in the semi-finals, will fight the Chinese instead. The Algerian Olympic Committee said uh, Khalif was disqualified for medical reasons and that it would support uh, her preparation for the African Qualification Tournament for next year's Paris Olympics. Algerian media reported Khalif was disqualified for high levels of testosterone in her system. Be interesting there. Now, South Africa is set for a new record for chasing in uh, the international T20 cricket match when they scored 259 uh, for four to beat West Indies by uh, six wickets at Centurion on Sunday in a game described as pretty crazy. Now, Jonathan Chow smashed a 39-ball century for the visitors as they posted on uh, an imposing 258 for five, the joint sixth highest total in T20 internationals. However, Quinton Day Cock responded with 100 from 44 balls, a maiden T20 century, while fellow opener Reza Hendricks uh, hit uh, 68. Phenomenal. South African captain Aidan Markram, uh, 38 not out, uh, saw his side home with seven balls to spare. The previous highest run chase was Bulgaria's 246 to beat Serbia in 2022, while Australia made 245 to beat New Zealand in 2018. To all cricket fans, I'm sure that must be exciting. Now, let's uh, talk um, sports and, of course, you know, AFCON qualifiers uh, this time. The Super Eagles did get to play um, um, over the weekend, I believe, yes, and uh, Nigerians were not very, very happy. After their loss in Abuja in the reverse fixture, the Super Eagles of Nigeria uh, are set to take on uh, Jutus for the second time in three days, looking to regain their honor. The Eagles, who departed Abuja on Sunday morning, arrived at the Aero Porto Inter International in Guinea-Bissau. It was a seemingly disappointing show from the three times Afghan champions who on Friday lost the first leg of the Afghan 2023 qualifier at the Moshuda Biola Stadium via a lone goal to the Wild Dogs. The Super Eagles will hope to make amends by beating the Wild Dogs and retain the group's top spot as they battle Guinea-Bissau in a must-win game at the Estadio 24 de Setembro. Though Guinea-Bissau are sweating out uh, on the fitness of match winner Mama Balde ahead of their 2023 Africa Cup of Nations qualifying match against Nigeria. It's going to be a very, very tough game and I think everyone you know, knows that already. Uh, Nigerians were very upset over the weekend seeing how that game turned out. Now let's go to the English Premier League where Tottenham have parted company with Antonio Conte, their coach, after the Italians slammed the players as selfish after Saturday's 3-3 draw with Southampton. Spurs say that Conte's assistant Christian Stellini will be acting head coach for the rest of the season with Ryan Mason assistant head coach. Conte departs Tottenham after 16 months in charge following an extraordinary rant against his players after they threw away a 3-1 lead at rock bottom uh, Southampton to cap a miserable march uh, for the club. It uh, saw them dumped out of the, both the FA Cup and the Champions League to leave them without a trophy for another season stretching back to 2008. Really mind-blowing, and of course, the Tottenham fans, and uh, I saw a lot of frustration over the weekend, you know, with people complaining, you know, once again, another coach has gone. If Mourinho couldn't do it, there's no way Antonio Conte could have done it. And of course, once again, questioning how long Harry Kane will remain at Tottenham. So these are some of the conversations that definitely will be coming up in the next couple of days um, as the season, of course, continues to play.